Welcome to the President's Diary, where we take a look at His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali's week of activities. His Excellency started this week by meeting with hundreds of teachers from across Guyana and representatives from the Guyana Teachers Union at State House. The President announced that existing anomalies affecting teachers paid below their minimum salary scales will be amended this month. During the meeting, several other issues were raised, including housing, infrastructure development of schools and other educational facilities, allowances, and human resource development. The head of state traveled to Costa Rica where he was honored with the prestigious IICA award for his remarkable leadership in food security and sustainable development. Inter-American Institute for Agricultural Cooperation IICA, said the decision to award President Ali came from the recognition of his leadership in agricultural transformation, food security and support for building resilient economies in a sustainable manner in Guyana and the Caribbean. I am most humbled to accept this recognition on behalf, on behalf of the farmers of our region, but more importantly on behalf of the Ministerial Task Force and all the policy makers in the CARICOM region itself that are working on a very aggressive objective and that is to reduce our food import bill by 25% by 2025. A very ambitious target but one that will see significant investment and significant application of technology as we seek to build not only an agricultural industry and sector, but a food production system that is sustainable, resilient, and one that can withstand the vulnerability that comes within our region. President Ali had a lengthy discussion with the directors of IICA, including Director General Manuel Otero, on ways in which the Agriculture Research Institute can advance the development of Guyana's expanding agriculture sector. In order for us to ensure that this happens very quickly, we are going to be working with IICA on the establishment of a regional food hub with the right technology, applying the right phytosanitary standards so that the products that come through the regional food hub will meet all the standards for all the markets. During a meeting with the IICA directors, the president spoke about CARICOM's vision of achieving 25% reduction in food importation by 2025 and ways in which IICA can lend support. He also highlighted the drive of the region to advance agricultural technology, enhance farming techniques, and repackage agriculture for the younger generation and women. On Thursday, President Ali was given a guided tour of IICA headquarters in Costa Rica, where he witnessed innovative uses of STEM-applied agriculture, technology and research being done to advance work. The head of state said that his government is positioning Guyana as a major destination for ecotourism, with the Central American nation, Costa Rica, as a model. The president made these remarks following bilateral discussions with the president of the Republic of Costa Rica, His Excellency Rodrigo Chavez Robles, at the presidential house. More importantly, our forests the size of England and Scotland combined, with the lowest deforestation rate in the world, storing 19.5 gigatons of carbon, position us to be an exceptional ecotourism destination. We have identified Costa Rica as our model and we are embarking on a program to work closely with the government of Costa Rica in helping us to develop our ecotourism product in Guyana. President Ali was also given a tour of the Coffee Institute of Costa Rica in San Jose, where he had a first-hand view of the varying processes from cultivation to the mixing of the blends. Additionally, President Ali discussed the possibility of having the United Nations University of Peace courses as part of the Ghana Online Academy of Learning Gold Scholarship Program. His Excellency President Dr. Irfan Ali discussed avenues for cooperation in building out Ghana's agriculture sector to fulfill the country's food security goals with the 2020 World Food Prize Laureate Dr. Ratan Lal and one of the 2019 Nobel Memorial Prize in Economic Sciences recipients Dr. Michael Kramer. Dr. Lal, a distinguished soil scientist, indicated his interest in working with Guyana and the Caribbean community on the extension of the Living Soils program. 
The program is aimed at conserving quality soil through good land management practices and by transforming agricultural systems into ecosystems that capture more carbon in the soil. The President also met with the Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office food security expert and Caribbean Deputy Development Director Jonathan Reeves. Discussions focused on advancing cooperation between the UK and Guyana, especially in ways the UK can help to advance the food agenda of Guyana and CARICOM and foster partnerships in food security for local farmers and businesses. President Ali received a visit on Friday from leaders of the Regional Security Systems RSS, who are in Guyana for their annual meeting. During the engagement at State House, the head of state emphasized the need for a regional approach to security in response to conflicts and disasters, while he also highlighted the importance of food and energy security. Later that day, President Dr. Irfan Ali disclosed the vision of the government for Guyana 2030 and beyond, while delivering the keynote address at the Canada-Guyana Chamber of Commerce Maple Leaf Ball at the Guyana Marriott Hotel. He told a pack room full of local and foreign entrepreneurs that the plan is to build out the non-oil sector and revolutionize the country through technology and innovation. The technological investments will modernize areas such as agriculture, infrastructure development, healthcare, and education. This was the President's Diary, where we took a look at His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali's week of activities. Thank you for watching. You join us again next time.